Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use the patch tool in Photoshop. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's video, we're going to show you how to use the patch tool. It's used for removing large objects from your photos. You can make any selection using any of the selection tools and then use the patch tools to simply get rid of that object. So if you haven't downloaded the sample image for this tutorial, just follow the link right down below. That way you can follow right along. Let's go ahead and get into Photoshop. So here's our sample image. We've got a beautiful picture of the beach, but we just kind of have a bunch of distractions on the beach itself. So this is a perfect place for the patch tool. Now the patch tool is located right here under the spot healing brush tool, healing brush tool, and here you're gonna see the patch tool. So the deal here is the spot healing brush tool and the healing brush tool, these are really great when you wanna remove small areas, but when you wanna remove something a little bit larger, the patch tool really is so fantastic because you can use selections. So let's go ahead and grab our patch tool and take a look at our settings. Now, right here at the very top, we have a couple options. We have normal and content aware. Now, here's the deal. If it's set to normal, you have to actually do this on a layer. For instance, I'm on my background layer. I would have to do this on my background layer. If you create a new layer, which I love creating new layers because it's non-destructive, you can then use content aware with the patch tool but I found that the patch tool actually works much better in normal mode. So we're gonna keep it back on normal mode. So let's go back to normal where I think the patch tool really, really shines. There we go. But I still don't wanna just do this on my background layer. So here's my suggestion. Let's say you did some work on your image, blah, 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 blah. You got a couple layers and you, then it's time to do the patch tool. My suggestion is go ahead and create a new layer. Go to image down to apply image. There we go. You wanna make sure this says merge. And this one, you wanna make sure it says normal. That just puts a copy of everything you see on your new layer, okay? So this allows you to use your normal patch tool on a new layer at the very top of your editing stack. Fantastic. Next, we have two different options. We have source and destination. So let's go ahead and jump in and, and start using the tool. We'll show you how to use source and destination. So we're gonna start by getting rid of this uh, little tree here. So we're gonna hit on source, Okay, I'm on the layer that actually has something on it. Keep in mind, if patch is set to normal, you're not gonna be able to use this on a blank layer. So with my sample set to source, I'm just gonna circle around the object that I don't want, and then I'm gonna click and drag and find a new area, let go, and you're done. That's literally all there is to it. So circle over the thing you don't want and then drag it to a different place. Now this is gonna do a really good job even when it comes to replicating textures. Now, I think this image would be cool. I want, you know, this woman here and I want the dog, but pretty much everyone else, I'm okay with just being gone. So let's go ahead and circle uh, these people. I'm sure they're super nice people. They're really great. We just don't want them in this photo, for instance. So I'm just gonna click and drag here till I find a texture that I'm like, ooh, that's a good texture. See, like if I put it up here, you get a little preview, which is nice. So it's very easy to like see what's actually gonna work there. There we go. A little preview there, let go. And then it's gonna blend everything together. Now you'll notice here, it didn't do a great job right here because it's trying to blend uh, like this dark object with the edge there. So let's just hit undo, okay? You can do this in smaller sections if you need, but for now, let's just try, put it right about there and let go. And that looks pretty good. So let's hit Control or Command D to deselect. Now, we literally just copied this whole area from one area to another. But the cool thing is, if I want to just like, like, I don't want this to look the exact same right here and right here, right? So you can just take a sample area right here and then like move this up the beach a little bit, let go, and then boom, it blends together. And if it doesn't do a perfect job right there, no big deal, just do it again. All right, perfect. Now, that was set to source. So let's go ahead and click on destination and see how this looks. This is a little bit different. Like I can click on this log here and then it's actually gonna sample that log and then put that log in a different place. So if I wanted to remove that rock, I could click on, you know, maybe this rock here and put it right over there, boom. And it would just put that rock right over there. Basically it just copies it, right? So um, if you do have something that doesn't look exactly the same, like let's say I want those rocks to be right there, boom. So now it, you know, totally looks a little bit different. 
And this will actually work on blending uh, light levels. It will work on blending colors as well. So we're already doing pretty well. Uh, for instance, like this area here, I'm like, uh, let's get some area right down there. Perfect. And I'm like, boom, let's just put that right over the people, let go, and you're good to go. It just gets rid of them. So that's set to destination. And then source is where you actually circle the thing that you want to get rid of, and then you move it to a different place. So we'll just continue to do that. Most of the time, I usually find that uh, I have this set to source, but destination can be helpful as well. So it's totally up to you. And you can see the patch tool just does a really nice job blending everything together. Okay, let's get rid of those things. And then these people are gonna be pretty easy. There we go. Boop, and we'll just move them right up the coast a little bit. All right, and then see how this is a little bit like weird there. Sometimes that happens, no big deal. We're gonna pop this back to destination. I'm gonna circle something that's kind of similar and we're just gonna boop, pop it there, okay? There we go, that's a little weird there. It just happens sometimes, no big deal. All right, well, let's go ahead and zoom out here and take a look at what we've done. Oh, we got a couple more, couple more scragglers here. We've got to get rid of the scragglers. <laughs> let's see about just taking a little bit of that like little coastline up there. Perfect. And then we'll change this back to source. So I've done all this with the patch tool. Now, not to say that you can't use the patch tool with a combination of other tools as well, but it really does a good job. Okay, well, look at that. We just cleared our coastline, and then we got, hey, this is just a person hanging out on the coastline with their dog. Uh, no one <laughs> in the way. Just a nice, clear day alone at the beach. Now, the last little tidbit I want to share with the patch tool is that you can use any selection with the patch tool. You don't have to use the patch tool selection itself. So the patch tool, it kind of just brings up like something that's similar to the lasso tool, right? You just click and drag around there. But what if you have a selection already that you like? Let's say you created a selection using the elliptical marquee tool, okay? So you're like, oh man, this selection's great. Or maybe you just like traced around an object or something like that. It can be a very simple or complicated selection. Any selection at all, then you just grab the patch tool and boop, there we go. So you don't need to use the patch tools built-in selection options. You can use any selection to make the magic happen. There we go. Let's take a look at our before and our after. Here's our before and the after. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Now, if you wanna learn more about removing objects, check out our pro tutorial, how to remove anything in Photoshop, available right now on flurn.com. If you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on your screen. We're gonna send you free Photoshop tutorials every single week. Can't get better than that. Thank you so much. I'll flirt you later. Bye everyone. Little bits, oh, little bits. Okay, another one bites the done. Dun 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 dun. dun. Another tutorial's done. Da da dun 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 dun. Making Photoshop tutorials. And it's a good thing that I make Photoshop tutorials instead of writing music. I think you would agree. <gasps> bum bum bum. We just made another tutorial. Bum bum bum. <laughs> now it's time to be done.